we all collectively can say with our hands on our hearts that one of the best part of this job is giving away cash. You never know what somebody's going through in their personal life. You never know whether $200 or $2,000 is going to make a massive difference mm. to our community. And a, a man in the UK recently, he's a pensioner, and he won uh, $200,000 on a local radio show. Wow. Um, same thing as us, giving away prize money in a competition and whatever. Yep. And they asked him, they said, what are you going to buy? And he said, I'm going to go. I've never been able to afford a headstone for my wife. Oh. <laughs> So the first thing he was going to do with that money is go straight out there and purchase a headstone to put on the grave of his wife that passed away many years ago, but he's never been able to afford to have it nice, and he said, that's exactly what I want. Oh, that's a nice thing to And I just thought, isn't that absolutely... Oh, God, you're... (laughs) I'd just carve it into a lump of wood and drive it into the ground that know who she was. (laughs) She's dead. She don't care, darling. Do you, you not it have was a, a love heart? Love. You no, have it, a it, heart of stone. It, it was a lovely thing to do. Now tell us what you really think, because that was just an act, wasn't it? <laughs> Please tell me that was well, an act. Well, after many years, I wonder why wouldn't he have carved one in a bit of wood or something? He might not be a handyman like you. Oh, well, good luck to you. <gasps> I suppose you could stuck a stick in there like we did with many a dog and ride on it with permanent Now tell marker. us what you really think. <laughs> <laughs>